Hey everybody, Garrett here. We're about three weeks into the new year now, so I've got a question for you. How are those resolutions coming? Have you started them yet? If not, don't be discouraged. There's still time. But often, starting a resolution or a goal for yourself, no matter when you start them, can be difficult. Easier said than done. So I wanted to give you some tips on how to start your goals and resolutions for 2017. Whether you, whether you made them on first of the year, or you made them today, or you make them six months from now, or even on the last day of the year. Because here's the thing, I believe that you can set a goal or resolution for yourself anytime, at any place, no matter your circumstances. Set the goal and make it happen. So, here are three tips on how to maintain and achieve your resolutions in 2017. Tip number one, start small. Starting small can be difficult because we often have these big dreams, these big goals. Say if you want to lose weight. Losing weight is one of the top goals that people have every year so if you want to lose weight a lot of people say well I want to lose 20 pounds so I'm gonna do that in one month well see that's not very practical to say that because that is that would be very hard to do um, it would be more realistic and more practical to say that you were gonna to try to lose five pounds in a month or if you wanted to exercise say that you were gonna get in the gym five days a week well, that's, that's, a, that's a lot to start off with. Maybe you want to start off if you haven't been exercising or anything or even doing any outdoor activity. Maybe you want to go to the gym once or twice a week to start off with or spend 10 to 20 minutes outside running or, or hiking or something like that. You don't want to start um, to uh, too aggressively and burn yourself out with something. You want to start small so that you don't get discouraged if you do not reach your goals in the time that you that you uh, anticipate. Tip number two, moderate your distractions. We can be distracted by anything at any time. In this society with social media, um, television, constantly texting and calling our friends, and, and, and you know all, all of our commitments, how that we have everything at the palm of our hands, everything on our phones telling us what to do, where to go, how to do things. It can, it can, we can be distracted like never before. So my tip to you here is moderate your distractions. Now, I did not say eliminate. I'm not saying eliminate your time spent watching TV every so often, or Netflix, I know that's a popular one, or spending time with friends or on social media or anything like that. You just need to moderate it so that it doesn't overtake your goals, your aspirations, your New Year's resolutions. Because the fact of the matter is, you have to focus on yourself, on the goals that you want to achieve. So you cannot let what what someone's saying on social media, I know that, you know, social media is hot right now with political posts, and a lot of people are throwing their weight around, and you're not going to see me throwing my weight around on social media with uh, politics, because I don't really think that that, that uh, accomplishes a whole lot, but, you know, a lot of people can be caught up in that, or caught up in binge-watching a, a certain show on Netflix, or, or, or always going out with their friends, no matter... Uh, whenever they ask, no matter what they have to get done for themselves. So if you set a goal of of working out or losing weight and your friends call you at the time that you were planning to go work out, then you, you need to stick to your commitment and tell your friends, hey, I'll meet you later. Or, you know, don't, don't, don't schedule yourself a... Uh, uh, net watching, I mean, Netflix binge watching session, you know, during the time that you were planning to go work out. 
get your get what you need to get done done and then then you can be just it's okay to be distracted every so often with things but you have to moderate your distractions tip number three and this is the most important in my opinion know your why know exactly why you're doing what you're doing whether it is in the gym or um, another popular one is uh, financial stability so if you want to become more financially stable and you want to uh, save your money it's gonna to be tough when 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 your friends come a calling and and they want you know you to go out with them on the weekends to go see a movie or this and the other and you're trying to save five ten fifteen twenty dollars here and there you're gonna be like man it's really you know stinks to have to to, to not uh, always do things with my friends when they ask but you have to know your why know why you're doing what you're doing know what what you're trying to accomplish um, through your goals so for me with overcome yours it's it's simple my why is not this is not just an outlet for me to share my story this is not just because I like to hear myself talk no overcome yours for me is a, a way for me to get a message, whether it be my my own message through my own story or someone else's story out there to help individuals who may feel like there's no one out there that understands what they're going through, the struggles, the the um, the obstacles they've had to overcome and, and, and endure through their lives. There's many people out there. I was one of those people as well when I was struggling with self-acceptance and then how to deal with living with cerebral palsy and all this and the other. So I want to create this avenue for people to feel like, hey, you know what? Maybe it's not so bad because this person was able to overcome their challenges and this person was able to do this and do this and do this despite having these challenges and obstacles. So I want to do the same thing. So I keep that in mind every single time that I am staying up late preparing for a speaking engagement the next day or, or, um, or you know, spending a lot of time on videos like this, or sending out emails for for other potential speaking engagements or or anything. Um, I keep all that in mind so that I remember exactly why I'm doing what I'm doing when times get tough. So no matter what your goals or resolutions are, remember why you're doing what you're doing, and continue to work hard. Things are not going to just come overnight. It's not just going to happen at the snap of a finger. But it will happen if you're persistent and if you know your why, if you moderate your distractions, and if you start small, things will happen. So best of luck to you in achieving your goals for 2017. And may you all continue to overcome yours.